Hello everyone, welcome to another video of uh, CryptoCoop channel. Um, first of all, um, did anybody see the Bitcoin last night? Uh, congratulations to those who held Bitcoin. Uh, it was a very good news for me too. And also, now today I'm going to keep this video very short and very concise. I will talk about IOTA wallet, how to install, how to set it up, how to generate a seed so we can get going to receive and send IOTA. So the first thing you want to do is to go to IOTA's GitHub, make sure it is uh, version 2.4 or any version that is newer than this. If you're on Windows like I am, go to IOTA Wallet .exe file and download this one. So uh, one thing about IOTA, <clears throat> keep in mind that IOTA is still under development, so it is not really user friendly and there are some things that uh, you have to do, for example, uh, generating a seed, you have to make your own file. I don't really like that, but uh, don't be scared of computers because I'm sure everybody can do it and it's just a matter of trying. So once IOTA is up, just install it. And once it is installed, I will leave this code uh, below the description. So uh, for those who do not know how the code works, it's just like English and it does not require any kind of uh, connection to the internet. Uh, what it does, uh, this, uh, this part is about the styling of the page. The color is this and the table color is this one. And this is the function that generates the string, basically the private key of your IOTA. And this is very important because this is going to be your primary key. And if somebody has this one, basically they have your money. So, and this is the button. And whenever you press this button, you click on it and there is an unclick. Unclick, it runs, um, it looks for the IDD and it runs the function ran and ran is stand for random and is this function. So copy and paste this code inside your notepad, save as inside your desktop. You can call it um, IOTA seeder. And it's very important to have a dot HTML so it can be run in the web browser and save it. And then just go to your uh, desktop and find the file that we just saved and run it. This is it. So anytime you click, it generates a new seed. And if you're worried about internet connection, you can uh, go here and stop your connection. And generate your seed, copy it, and get your connection back because and you can close this one. Get your connection back because uh, IOTA requires the internet connection. Okay. Open IOTA again. The connection was cut. Close this one and let's open it again. Okay, paste your seed here and log in. Voila, and that, that's it. We have IOTA wallet. We can send and we can receive IOTA. And in my next video, I'm going to speak about um, how to send and receive IOTA from Bitfinex. I will try to have a live video of sending from my Bitfinex and receiving here and vice versa. And uh, I forgot to mention, IOTA has two sort of wallets. One called a uh, light wallet and the other is the uh, full node access and that is for people who want to help IOTA community. It's not for beginners So you want to go with the light wallet is right here and Inside tools we have like we can switch to the uh, light node. We are already in there view the nodes This is our node and I uh, there is a place that we can uh, connect to Node configuration so here, there are many uh, 
let's say servers that you can connect to get the recent IOTAS network for sending and receiving I choose to go with IOTA Bit Phoenix and just save this one and you're good to go so stay tuned in my next video as I say I will have a another video about IOTA uh, please uh, if it is confusing or if you have any question please leave your comments I make sure to reply and if you like this video please subscribe so I can have more videos in future thank you for watching